we are going to make a map. Ever since I started doing those farm builds in game on FS22, I have had people messaging me and commenting and asking me to make a map. So I thought, why not? And then I thought, why not take you along for the ride as well? So I'm going to do it in a kind of tutorial way. Um, this video is just the introduction into uh, what programs you're going to need or what programs I'm going to need and what I'm going to use. Some of the programs I really know quite well. Some of the programs I don't know that well. Um, so I'm going to be learning those as we go, which means you get to learn them with me. Um, I am by no means a professional at doing this, okay? Uh, so I haven't, I haven't made a map since FS17. But uh, what I will do is I will have links in the description for every single program that I use when I use it. I'll keep the links in the description of each video as we go along. I'll also have links for um, people who I recommend you to go and watch. Different videos and stuff, different cre content creators. Because I don't know everything. I can't know everything. They don't know everything, but they know stuff I don't know. So, I will point you in the right direction because I have to get my information from different sources as well. There is an app which we will get into after the first couple of videos that is, in my opinion, groundbreaking for making maps. So you really want to stick with this series, I think, especially if you're serious about starting out making maps if you're a newbie and you are looking to do this i think i have the answer for you i just want to remind you that i did do a short series on the basics of using giants editor um at the moment oh, Everything that's in there is still relevant. There are some new things that have come in that I haven't had a chance to work with or play with yet. So again, we're going to be learning those as we go along. But I'll just I'll just show you. If you go to my channel, you go to playlists, scroll down, and then here on the right, we've got the playlist for Giants Editor Basics. Click on that link and then it will bring you to the five videos. We have Getting Started with Giants Editor. Then we have Terrain Sculpting Tools. We have the Terrain Painting Tools. We have the Foliage Painting Tool. And then we have Info Layer Paint Mode. Those go over the basics of, the, of how to use those. It also covers basic controls and things. But I will be showing you later on some other ways to find out what controls are and stuff okay so just looking at the programs you will need farming simulator 25 you will need giants editor you're going to need blender don't panic you're going to need a image editor like gimp or photoshop or microsoft paint i think some people use um, you're also going to need notepad plus plus QGIS and Google Earth Pro, Google Earth Maps, Google Maps, or Bing Maps, something where you can find the area that you're going to try and create and you can use the court, you, you need it to, to get coordinates and things, okay? Um, like I said, we're doing this differently to the way everybody else does it. So that's all we need. We don't need to go and get LiDAR. We don't need to go and get uh, micro DAM. Um, we don't need any of that stuff. We're going to do this a completely different way. All right. Remember, I said we're going to use a different app. Um, so first of all, we will go to the Giants Developer Network. Like I said, links are all in the description. 
If you don't have one already, you need to set up a user profile. Um, so you need to put in your email address and then they'll send you a password and then you can log in and all that jazz. All right, then once you've done that, you need to go to downloads and in here and at time of recording, which is December 2024, um, the editor version is version 10.0.3. That is what we're using at the moment, okay? So you install that, and off we go. The next thing you're going to want is Blender. So you come to Blender, link in the description, come and download. So current version of that is 4.3.2. Install that. Then if you want GIMP, then you can come here, link in the description, uh, and install that. And that is currently on 2.10.38. Uh, then we want Notepad++. We're on 8.7.5. Just come and download that. QGIS. Right, so... QGIS. When you come into the download page, you'll be greeted with this. Just skip to download. And then you want the latest version for Windows 3.40. I don't know what the long-term version is. I don't know what difference there is there, but I have this one installed. Okay, so you just click on that and that will install. Um, they're all at, we're all .exe, so... They've all got um, programs, installation programs that you just click, click and click and play, basically. Um, and then obviously your Google Maps. Now I don't live here anymore. I live here, so actually I live here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, my link that I've put in the description is Google.ca. It it will take you to wherever you need it to. All right, so Google Maps, that's linked in the description. Now, um, I also have two people that I highly recommend to go to for getting tips and tricks. One is Bauer Brown. He has a multitude of videos on how to use Giants Editor, and I believe he has some on how to use Blender too. And he is predominantly about map making. Uh, and then the other one, and this is if you're looking at making mods as opposed to maps, really, and that is Lambo Mods. Both of these guys really, really know what they're talking about. Uh, as I said to Lambo Mods, he is some kind of wizardry phenom so those two guys i highly recommend going to check them out links are in the description for both of their channels so with that all said and done we'll call it for this video um and then you'll have to wait until the next one comes out and that'll be about installing and setting up giants editor